Let's take a look at some of the powerful features found in FL Amp and how we might use those. Stick around and we'll get right to it. FL Amp is used to send files back and forth over the air. Not only can we send files, we can receive files, we can request fields if we miss something, and we can even relay files. Let's go ahead and jump over to the laptop and let me show you guys some of these really cool features that are built in. All right, so as you can see, we are receiving a file currently with FL Amp. What you see first there on the screen is just the header indicating that it is a FL Amp transfer. You'll also notice in the missing section of FL Amp that we're missing blocks one through seven. As those lines uh, on the right hand side in FL Digi are received, you'll notice the blocks start to disappear. Now I'm going to intentionally interrupt this transfer so that we miss a block or two because I want to show you one of the really cool features inside of FL Amp. So as this continues to carry on, we should find a couple of missing blocks in here. Uh, we've got, we, it looks like we missed block three so far. So we should receive uh, five, six, and seven okay. Okay, so now that the message is finished, let's take a look at FL Amp right here, and you'll see that we're missing block three. And right down here at the bottom, it says we've received 88% of this FL Amp demo.txt file. In order to fetch this last missing block right here, and this might be multiple blocks, in this case it's only one, what we want to do is we want to click this report tab. Now, if you set your FL Amp up like I showed you guys uh, a few videos ago, once you click that, it's going to fill out this information right here, and it's ready to transmit. Now, there is a way in the configuration to have this automatically transmit this information as soon as you click that report button. Again, I don't prefer anything to auto-transmit. Uh, I like to just go ahead and click that transmit receive button. That way I can verify that I didn't make any mistakes. Uh, so you'll notice right here, it says the missing block is three and some other information in here. And then it gives the caret R, which will kick the radio back into receive mode as soon as I transmit it. So let's go ahead and transmit that data now. Now that that data has been transmitted, the initiating operator will be able to fetch that report and then only retransmit that block three, that block three that I indicated that I am missing. So let's watch that happen real quick. You'll see we're getting the RSID that has come in and we should only get block three, not the entire file retransmitted. And I see the start of the transmission now, so we should receive that one single block. This is really handy because you don't have to retransmit the entire file to get that one missing block. And you'll see now that uh, I have no missing blocks over here. That's also indicated right here with this blue bar. You can see the text file right here, and right down at the bottom it says 100%. Now, you can kind of read this file right here a little bit, but if we actually want to view this on our hard drive and see the uh, actual file itself, we can come right up here to File and Folders. Once that window opens, let's go ahead and double-click the Receive directory, and then let's take a look at today's date, and you'll see that file right here that we can double-click on and open so that we can read uh, what was sent to us. Now, if you're working in a simplex environment, or maybe you're working over HF, and one of the stations that you can hear couldn't hear the originating station, then we can use the relay feature. So if I just clicked relay right here, it would ask me, uh, well, it would warn me that I'm about to transmit and do I wish to continue. Now, in this case, I don't want to do that. But this is a way that you can relay a file without any changes to it to another station. Keep in mind, though, that once you click the remove button right here to get rid of this file, you no longer have this relay. So you can't go back and 
open this file again in FL AMP and be able to relay it uh, the same way. You could just transmit the file, but it's not a true relay in the sense that FL AMP considers a relay. Okay, so now let's take a look at how to transmit one of these files and how to look for missing blocks. The first thing you want to do is click the Add button right here. Now, I've already added my file in, but if you click that Add button, it will open up a file explorer for you, and you can go locate the file you want to transmit on your hard drive. You can actually load multiple files down here if you want. And then you can either select a single file and click Transmit, or you can say Transmit All, and it would transmit all of the files in the queue here. One thing to pay attention to is the length of time that it's going to take to transmit. And this is where you want to decide if you want to use compression or not. Without compression turned on, you'll see that my transfer is going to take 1 minute and 40 seconds. When I turn on compression, that drops that transmit time to 52 seconds. All right, let's go ahead and click that transmit button so you guys can see this in action. Once the transmission is complete, you can wait for a couple of minutes and see if anybody reports any missing blocks. And you can see that we do have a report right here with blocks 2, 3, 4, and 5 missing. So now, over in FL Amp, we can simply click this Fetch button, and it will fill in blocks 2, 3, 4, and 5, which is this exact report here that you see in FL Digi. Now, when we click Transmit, it's only going to retransmit blocks 2, 3, 4, and 5. And the last thing that I want to point out here that can be a little confusing when you first start looking at it, you'll notice that I've got another report right here that says missing 15 C376 and then another number over here. What's important in this report is the word confirmed. Confirmed indicates that the file was completely received. So don't let it confuse you that you've got the word missing over here. As long as you see the word confirmed, you know that the file transfer was complete. So there's an in-depth look at how we utilize FL AMP to transfer files. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.